What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel. We are ready for action on a Thursday and we're going to be kicking off with the new contracts, the new players. We're going to do a quick review breakdown of these. They've added a lot of new cards and they've been adding a lot of new cards on Thursday. Obviously for the launch of eFootball24, we are going to also get uh, some more cards Monday. So the epics and the boosters such as David V and them, they will be replaced after another four days. So after the weekend on the Monday, okay? So we are going to start with the Worldwide Player of the Week's uh, cards. There's some nice cards in here. Obviously, when I see Matoma, you know I'm going to try and get him because he is a beast. It doesn't matter how many versions of him I really have. If I have a couple of coins, I'll probably spin for him. And this guy looks like a beast with 365-day contract. You don't have to train him up. He's down as a whole player. It's a very, very, very unique card. Now, he can play as an AMF as a whole player, but I think mostly as his... Um, as his role i would probably be still playing him on left mid and not using that whole player it's not really a big difference uh, now i don't like the fact either lads that he doesn't have a very high tight possession that's kind of the key stat to a lot of these smaller base players so that's something as well that i think they need to look at is when they are adding these players they need to kind of add them in a way that because the team play style proficiency doesn't come into account anymore um or into consideration they do need to add players that are going to make a big difference. And I do think that Super Sub and Matoma is, is very nice on him. You know, you can't train him up. You can't have any additional skills on him. But I do think that it is a very, very decent card. Um, 91 dribbling, 83 balance, 93 acceleration. And of course, that Super Sub. So I'd be bringing him on as my Super Sub if I was to get him. We also have Har Harry Kane and Moani. These guys are probably the pick of it. We'll get to them in a second. But we've got Bulka, who's our goalkeeper. We've got Tarkowski, who scored the other day, as far as I remember. This guy's a fairly decent destroyer center back. He's got slow pace, slow acceleration and speed. Um, bad balance, but he's fairly good in the air, very good uh, physical contact, and all his stats will get the boost, obviously, with the manager as well. So the manager boost, if you have the best manager, such as Pep, will give you a plus two on all these stats. So he's going to have 90 in all his defense. Um, I would say the same with Bulka. I mean, he's just your average goalkeeper. I never spend too much time uh, worrying about the goalkeepers. If you spin these goalkeepers, you should have, you know, top five goalkeeper in the game by now if you've been playing it for that much uh, time. And even if you're a newcomer, just buy Donnarumma or Sommer or somebody that's really cheap. Johnny Evans, very, very slow. Um, but again, a fairly decent player. You're going to have defensive engagement and defensive awareness into the 90s with the aggression as a 91. Pretty decent. Uh, I don't know would he be worth a spin, to be honest with you. But he does have insane player skills. You know, he has pretty much everything except locker. He's more of a ball playing, like he is a build-up. So he's more of a ball playing centre-back, which is, yeah, it's nice. I mean, it is nice. I think that if you are adding different players, this is probably the cards that you do want to probably get, uh, is, is different cards that you can slot in. Now, personally, he wouldn't get into my squad. Um, we also have these two boys here, and Trippier and Morata. These guys, in my opinion, lads, are not really worth it either. Like, as a box-to-box -box, uh, midfielder, this guy is neither here nor there. Like, he doesn't have anything that excels. I know his player skills are brilliant. His one-touch pass, low lofted interception and blocker, like, insane. Um, and he does have some fairly nice base stats, but that card is really pumped up by the low pass, which you don't really need for a DMF. Now, playing him as a CMF is a different ball, ball game, right? He is a very, very good defensive box-to-box -box option. I did a video on best CMFs um, uh, that you can buy in the game. And these are the type of stats that I look for when you want a guy that can defend, can carry the ball, can pass the ball, and has a good bit of stamina as well. So he's a very good option if you do get him. Don't discount him too quickly. But he's just not going to be in the top tier, guys. Uh, Berardi is the same. You know, he's just a creative playmaker down as a right mid. Doesn't have blister and pace. His balance and stamina are quite poor. His type possession is quite poor if you're a dribbler. But everything else is pretty decent, including pinpoint crossing, first time shot, one touch pass. A lot of these cards, lads, they, they're just so easily replaced that if you do get them, I wouldn't even, you know, you can try them out and stuff if they're on form. You can see their form. They're all going to be on A, so it'll get, you know, nice little boost. But I think the rest of the cards, like the likes of Trippier. Trippier is a very specialist player. Excellent lofted pass. Brilliant stamina and curl. And speed and acceleration is very decent as well with the defense. Fairly good. But if you are looking for a full back, I always maintain that you need a left back or a right back that is an attacking option. And you need a left back or a right back. Whichever side you don't have the attacking option on, you need that as a defensive option. So for example, if you have Roberto Carlos left back, I would have somebody like Wambasaka or a center back like Tommy Yasu that can play a right back so that you can have defend with a tree and then have a free role for your left midfielder. 
vice versa you could have a really defensive left back like Tommy Yasu left back and then have a attack and full back like Trippier that's able to get up and cross the ball in I still think that people sleep on pinpoint crossers or cross specialist right backs that have really high crossing stats um Morata again you just have your your, your traditional center forward uh everything that we're going to be talking about here is probably undervalued by the fact that he does have super sub that's the only thing that has really kind of like makes this card maybe throw him onto your bench um especially if you're starting off look if you're starting off and you get any of these players they're going to be an improvement for you if you literally download the game today but if you've been playing the game for a week or two and you're getting free stuff thrown at you uh these cards are pretty replaceable they're not really great now that brings us on to quarta again he's got some fairly decent stats blocker interception acrobatic clearance aerial superiority fighting spirit man marking and interception he also has soul control so you know that he's going to be a bit spicy on the ball to be able to dribble and stuff defensive stats are going to track up quite nicely jumping is quite nice he's a little bit small for a cb if you're going to be playing him as your aerial guy which i wouldn't recommend but he's got unwavering form so pretty decent as well and then that brings us on to our two big boys right so colo moani he's been crying out for a card lads for a long time and this is why i'm disappointed in this card a little bit right he's down as a goal poacher he has double touch he has soul control he has first time shot and one touch pass he also has track back so you'll need to put counter target on him if you don't want him tracking back too much and coming too deep but he's got 87 speed 86 acceleration but look at the balance man that is the big killer for a lot of these cards is the balance and because you can't train these cards this card is going to really struggle to be a run and gun and if you are using him as a run and gun that's going to be a big issue if you're using him as a target man or a ball playing target man or a ball playing guy that can collect the ball and spread it he doesn't have really brilliant stats for that i know his player skills are good but the balance kills this card especially that you can't train it so it is a bit of a pity lads because this card could have been big and then harry kane rounds us off right so we'll keep this video short and sweet you know what you're getting with harry kane fox in the box 94 attacking awareness finishing at 95 and of course he's got fairly good physical contact stamina heading and lofted pass as well he's a baller i mean harry kane is a baller in real life he's really really good technically excellent player skills he has captaincy area superiority so he's good in the air dipping shot heading long range curler he doesn't have one touch pass but he has first time shot and he does have unwavering form pretty decent card i personally would prefer somebody that's more of a specialist such as collar or somebody that's a beast in the air i would use a target man and i'd have to have him with 90 plus heading so if i was training cristiano ronaldo as my target man i'd want him 90 plus heading or 90 plus jump or something like that Harry Kane with this card, he's neither here nor there. You're not going to be able to run with him. You're going to be able to have slow build-up play with him. Yes, you can bang in goals. The big thing that with Harry Kane is he does have some very unique player ID to make brilliant runs. Thomas Muller is another example of that where his stats aren't amazing, but he still plays and is quite decent. So that is it for me, lads. I will be back with another couple of videos quite soon. We will also be streaming today. But until next time, don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you in a bit. Peace.